the first buy opportunity in Facebook for me came at this specific level. I'll draw the line here. Now, notice the two red bars. One was rather sizable. The second red bar here was rather small. Facebook is demonstrating no ability to follow through on its red bars. And one of the things that I teach my traders is the two bar ignore rule. So when a stock like Facebook ignores red bars twice, meaning it produces a red bar and then produces no follow through whatsoever and eliminates the high of that red bar. If it does that twice in a row, you have a long opportunity. Of course, the same thing exists on the opposite side, on the short side, but this was the long opportunity. I had two red bars in Facebook that produced zero follow through, meaning that there was not a second red bar to follow the red bar. Facebook ignored two red bars in a row with zero follow through. I went long on the break above the highs of those two red bars. So one tactic I want you to remember is the two bar ignore tactic. The two red bar ignored tactic on the long side, the two green bar ignored tactic on the sell side. All right. Now, my my second action was in the form of an ad. I added on this bottoming tail bar that formed in the middle of the powerful green bar that broke above the high of the two red bars. I call this zone. I teach my traders that this zone is the gift zone. Anytime you have strong power up or down but in this case we have strong power in the form of a solid fat green bar that solid green bars range is what I call the gift zone any bullish event that forms inside of the range of a fat green bar any bullish event such as this bottoming tail bar that forms in the middle of the gift zone, we use that opportunity as an ad opportunity. So I am adding above the high of the bottoming tail bar that is forming inside of the range of this fat green bar, a wonderful ad opportunity. After adding, as you can see, Facebook moves to a new high on the day. And as it moves to a new high, I start to unwind my position. The vast majority of my position comes out on the bar that you see here with the topping tail. And now, a great many traders in the industry buy new highs. It's a tactic that has been utilized through in it is a tactic that has been utilized in the trading industry for a very, very long time, but it is an ineffective tactic. Why? Because 72% of all new highs at least fail temporarily. So based on that statistic, I teach my traders that once a stock pulls back, as Facebook did, right? See. Facebook pulls back into the range of the fat green bar, I add it. Once a stock pulls back and then moves to a new high, that new high should be sold into. You don't necessarily have to sell everything, but I encourage my traders to at least sell one half or more of their position on new highs. Why? Because 72% of all new highs fail. So I am coming out of my two long positions on this move to a new high. Now, at this particular point, I actually thought that I was done with Facebook for the day. But something very interesting happened to cause me to go short. If you take a look at the solid red bar, this is a bar that I call a bear elephant bar. This bear elephant bar formed 
with a certain degree of violence that actually undid a great deal of the work put in by green bars. Now, this violent bar accomplished several things. It broke the low of a bullish bar. If you look at this bottoming tail bar, the red violent elephant bar is taking out the bullish bottoming tail bar. At the same time, this violent red elephant bar is violating its 20 period moving average. And thirdly, this violent red elephant bar is searing through and undoing a great deal of the green bar work that was accomplished before it. So here's something very important that I am constantly drilling into my traders. Whenever you get a violent bar, not just a bar that that gradually moves down. No, I'm talking about a violent, sudden, abrupt, powerful surge to the downside, a violent bar that rips through the opposite color in a deep way, you can dive into the violence. I'm going to repeat that. It's so important. This is one of the big money makers for me virtually every single day. I am looking for violence that rips through the opposite color. Look at this violent red bar that rips through and undoes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and practically eight green bars before it. This bar sears through and erases the progress produced by virtually eight bars before it. So here's the tactic. Whenever a big red bar forms with sudden abrupt violence and that violent fat red bar sears through and undoes the progress of a lot of green bars, you can dive into the performance. No waiting, no hesitation whatsoever. Do not wait for the violent bar to finish. Do not hesitate. We dive into the violent bar before the violent bar finishes trading. So I dove in a very, very aggressive way inside of that red bar. I actually shorted very, very heavily there. And then placing my mental stop above the high of that fat red bar. All right, we do not want the high of that fat red bar violated. That would be a reversal of the very reason I am aggressively going short. So my mental stop is above the high of that fat red, fat red bar. And I'm actually adding to my short in two locations. The move up into, if you look at these two tail bars, right? They weren't tails when I was adding, but I was adding into the move up into the gift zone. Remember I talked to you about the gift zone of the fat green bar, where Facebook moved down into the fat violent green range, which I call the gift zone. Well, there's a little tiny blip upward in Facebook at this moment, which moves into the fat red gift zone. And I am going additionally short, adding at those blips to the upside. And I'm also adding on the violation of the bottoming tail bar. Every single time my stock eliminates, every single time my stock eliminates a positive bar, it's an ad opportunity. This bottoming tail bar is a positive bar. That bottoming tail portion is positive. Facebook eliminates the positive bar. I'm also adding there. Now, the pile into Facebook into the violet red bar was very heavy. The adding on the move back up into the fat bar's gift zone, that was heavy as well. And the heaviest entry of all 
was the violation of the bottoming tail bar because this move down that ignores a bottoming tail bar that eliminates a positive bar is my firm confirmation that this is going to drop hard and the move came fast and furious and I start to unwind on this bar and I'm I'm actually coming out of 500 share lots at a time as Facebook is dropping down toward that 200 period moving average. This short was the biggest part of the $23,000 overall gain. Now, my last trade in Facebook, the one that took me over the top, was actually a buy. As you can see, Facebook not only filled the gap from the open in the morning, it moved down to, to a very, very important point. Yesterday's prior close, this dashed line represents yesterday's prior close, and yesterday's prior close just happens to be coinciding with the very powerful 200 period moving average. Now, the 200 period moving average by itself is the granddaddy of all support and resistance items. If a stock is above the 200, it will have a strong tendency to bounce back up off the 200, as we can see Facebook did here. If the stock is below the 200 and rallies upward toward the 200, there's a strong tendency for the 200 to serve as a ceiling of resistance. But we have we not only have the supportive qualities of yesterday's prior close, we have the 200 period moving average, the strongest of all support items coinciding with the supportive close of the prior day. This represented an amazing buy opportunity for me, but I needed to wait to see if in fact this area was going to prove the support was real and once facebook moved down into that supportive area i was watching very closely this move down represented a fat red bar at the low it's a bottoming tail bar now but at the low while i was monitoring it it was a fat red bar now as the move back up started to erode the red bar, erode the red bar more, once I passed the 55% retracement level of the red bar, boom, 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 I just started piling in in a very heavy way on the long side. All I needed was more than 50% of the red bar to be erased, to be recouped, to be eliminated. And once more than 50% of the red bar was eroded, that was confirmation enough for me. My traders understand my 50% trading guidelines. I go in heavily with a stop, a, a mental stop, under the 200 period moving average. Now, I am actually looking for a counter trend bounce back toward the declining 20 period moving average, which you see here. And I'm also looking for that bounce to achieve roughly a 33 to 50% retracement of the prior down move. This is the range that I'm looking to take profits in. I will start taking profits once the stock moves up into about one third retracement of the decline into the halfway range. My traders are very, very astute at playing the one third to 50% retracement levels of a prior move. That range, that 33% to 50% range is a sweet spot for us. And as you can see, these three plays produced an amazing $23,000 in total. Now, let's take a look at the final play off of the 200 period moving average.